Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn step by step from scratch what do we mean by provisioning a virtual machine and then we will also see how do we provision a virtual machine using Vagrant and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and this is for complete beginners so do not worry if you have never done this earlier and you have never used uh, Vagrant I will show you everything step by step from scratch and you will find all the notes and links in the description of this video so let's get started and first let us see what do we mean by provisioning a virtual machine or provisioning any machine so provisioning a machine means setting it up and bringing it to a desired state so that it can be used for our project or any task that we want to do on that machine so that can include adding the necessary software installing the applications softwares updating the resources setting up network connections etc so you can see all these common things adding software updating resources setting networks and making the machine ready for the project or the task is what we mean when we say provisioning the virtual machine so in very very simple words settings on the vm to a desired state setting the vm to a desired state so that it can be used for the project or task now provisioning of a virtual machine can be done manually for example a person a user can log into the machine and then he can do all the steps manually like installing softwares updating resources setting up network connections etc but that will be very time consuming and also error prone and that will not be you cannot duplicate it and you cannot do all these provisioning on multiple machines all at once so for that we use some configuration management tools like ansible chef puppet etc and then uh, when we are able to do automated provisioning it can save a lot of time and it will be very durable and very efficient process so i hope now you understand what do we mean by provisioning of a virtual machine if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and when we come to vagrant vagrant is a tool that allows to provision the virtual machines using a file called vagrant file and in this file we can put all the instructions all the things we want to do on the virtual machines uh, like installing softwares updating things etc and vagrant when we run a vagrant command it will read all these instructions and set up the virtual machine accordingly so in the earlier sessions we have already seen how do we install and set up vagrant we have already seen vagrant files just in case you have missed that tutorial you can go back and check that tutorial so that you have vagrant up and running on your system now let us uh, see we have already discussed this as well in the earlier session when we use Vagrant to provision a virtual machine, we install Vagrant on our system, on any host system, we will install Vagrant. And then when we run the command Vagrant in it, it will generate a Vagrant file. In the Vagrant file, we can add the virtual machine providers like VirtualBox, VMware, etc. We also provide the image name that will be used to set up the virtual machine like CentOS, Ubuntu, etc and we then give the details of the of the provisioners as we have seen just now we can use some uh, configuration management tools for provisioning like ansible puppet chef etc or we can also use our own scripts so these are some of the providers we can use and then these are some of the provisioners we can use and if you want we can also add our manual scripts so in, in this particular session we are going to do provisioning using our scripts and then in the coming sessions and maybe in a say another tutorial i will also discuss about the other provisioners and then when we run the command vagrant up so our vagrant file is ready by now and now we run the command vagrant up and this will provision the virtual machines it will bring up the virtual machines do all the provisioning all the configurations as we have added in our vagrant file and make the machines ready to be used again if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you let us now come to the steps how do we provision the virtual machine now there are two ways we can give the steps for provisioning or the instructions for configuring and provisioning the virtual machine within the vagrant file or we can also give them in a separate file and then give the location of that file in the vagrant file so first let us see how can we do it within vagrant file so we will open our vagrant file and will add a block for config.vm.provision so let's do that 
I will just open my Vagrant file. So here I have created my Vagrant file in the earlier session in this folder Vagrant projects and this is the Vagrant file. Now I am doing this on a Mac operating system but you can use it on any operating system whether you are using Windows or Mac. The steps are going to remain the same. You can just go to your Vagrant file and open it with any editor like notepad or any text editor and this is my Vagrant file. Okay. I will increase the font so that you can see it properly. So this is a very simple Vagrant file and in this Vagrant file I have just added uh, this particular this particular configuration which is uh, the CentOS, bo CentOS 7 box. So whenever we will say Vagrant up it will create this box and add it to our system or Vagrant. So this we have seen in the earlier session. So as of now, we just have a single virtual machine without any provisioning scripts. So if I go to my terminal, if you are on Windows, you can go to your command line or PowerShell or git bash. And if I go to this folder, which is on my desktop and the name is uh, in projects and the name is Vagrant project. If I see my Vagrant file is here. Okay. Now, if I say, if I want to start the virtual machine, I can just use the command vagrant up and this will start the, create and start the virtual machine as per whatever you have given in the vagrant file. So you can see it is starting the virtual machine, getting the image from virtual box for CentOS 7 and it is there. If I say vagrant status, I will check if it is running or not and you can see this is my default this is the only virtual machine I have in my vagrant file and it is now running okay so now uh, here as we have discussed we can use some provisioners like shell and Sybil puppet but here we are going to use shell which is our scripts so we will add the shell scripts within our vagrant file so this is how we can add the shell scripts. We can just say config.vm.provision and then shell and then we can write all the scripts we want to use in this block. So I will go to my Vagrant file and to save some time I have added these scripts here. So this is what we need. This is what we need to add. So we just need to add this config.vm.provision and then based on what we want to use whether we want to use shell or any other provisioners then we can give the rest of the details so this is what I want now I'm using CentOS here we have to use yum for doing any updates or installation otherwise in some other versions of Linux you can use apt-get so based on whatever virtual machine you are using what commands will work on that machine based on that you can add this script here this is provision script I will go and add in my Vagrant file. So just after this config.vm.box and before the end statement, I'm going to paste this provision script. So here we are doing installation of Apache web server. So here we are doing sudo yum update and then sudo yum install minus y httpd. Okay. So I will save this Vagrant file and now come back. So we have done until step number three. Now to run this provision or run this provisioning script, if your virtual machine is not already up, then you can just run the command vagrant up and it will read the vagrant file and do all the provision as per you have given in your vagrant file. If it is already running, you can do vagrant reload. And then uh, when you say vagrant reload, it will restart the machine and again it will make sure all this provisioning that you have given in the vagrant file will be taken care of. Otherwise, uh, whenever you make any changes in the provisioning script, you can just run the command vagrant provision. Make sure that your machine is already running. And when you say vagrant provision, it will only change. It will only update the new changes and will not run everything from scratch. So let us first run the command. I will clear my screen. I will say vagrant reload so this will restart the virtual machine and should also run the provisioning scripts 
so you can see it is first gracefully shutting down the virtual machine and now it will start it again so it is booting the virtual machine now and waiting for the virtual machine to boot and once it is up it will run the provisioning scripts all right so you can see all this it is doing provisioning here you can see all this and the machine is booted and ready here so this is done okay now if I say uh, if I make any changes in my provisioning script let us say I delete this and save and now I will just say vagrant provision let us see what happens here and everything we put in the vagrant file is ruby script so make sure that the syntax is correct you can also go online and format your uh, script with ruby so just making sure that the syntax and formatting is correct so you can see everything is fine here it is able to run the provisioning script all right so we are able to do this and uh, we are able to provision our virtual machine and now if you want we, we can go inside the virtual machine by using vagrant ssh command and then do the rest of the things so I, if i want i can say vagrant ssh it will connect me to the virtual machine which in this case is my centos linux system and you can see i am now here i am inside my virtual machine i will say exit and i will come out of the virtual machine now let us see the steps so uh, if you want you can take a screenshot of the screen and keep it handy with you and look at it several times so you will never forget how do we provision virtual machine using vagrant now the second uh, way is using a separate file where we add all our configuration steps and then use that file provide the location of that file in the vagrant file so here step number one will be we will create a separate file and add the provisioning script in that file now you can create the file at any location but I'm going to create in the same location where my vagrant file is so I will just say touch you can give it any name I'm saying provision1.sh this is going to be a shell script so I'm giving the name as extension as .sh so it should create a file here I will hit enter you can manually also create a file so that should also work and open this file this is created open this file in any text editor like notepad notepad plus plus or in this case i will use text edit on my mac and here i'm going to add the provisioning script and again i have added this here so that it is easier and faster so this is what i'm doing and if i show you this is installing apache web server on the virtual machine which is a centos linux system it will do yum update yum install and then start the apache and then you can see all these steps are here and then it will also add everything in this index.html file and then it will make the system ready with all the provisioning scripts that we have here now make sure that you use these commands based on the operating system you are running i am running centos so it's yum update yum install will work here so i'm going to save this I have saved the file and now I have to give the location of this file in my vagrant file so I will open my vagrant file and here now in the provision block I will just say that we have to use a file and give the location so here I will say this in the provision block I will just add this I will remove all of this and I will just say config.vm.provision it is a shell script and the path is provision1.sh and I do not have to give any other location because this file is on in the same folder where my vagrant file is otherwise if it is at a different location you can give the relative location or the complete path here I'm going to save this and now let us say I'm just going to say 
now you can see i'm not going to start or reload the virtual machine again i'm just i will just say vagrant provision so it will see what are the changes in the provision script and accordingly it will run the steps of provision so you can see it is getting the package and it is already installed and it has done all the things so again if i go in my provisioning file the script file and if i make any changes here so any changes if i do here let's say i will just delete some of these things or i'll just delete the step to restart the apache server and i will again run vagrant provision so it will only update whatever is changed in the provisioning script so you can see everything is done here okay so we have done step number two we have provided the location of the vagrant file and then we have run the command vagrant provision so i hope this was very useful for you you can try some more hands-on you can see some more examples online and you can try let me know in the comment section if you find a link for a quiz in the description of this video you can take the quiz and let me know your score in the comment section i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning